suppose, in a way, it wouldn't be the hardest red to cover. I mean, you could push this red down and use the pink and those two reds as a cover. It wouldn't be the easiest safety shot for your opponent, so... Well, how's he playing it? Well, he played to move it. OK, I'm lucky to knock the black in. I don't think that would have been my choice. No, I agree with you, John. I think if he'd played that plant sort of dead weight and left the white over on the left-hand side cushion, he would have covered it. The black was there. Two reds next to the pink. to do much with the cue ball to get position on the brown but he's, he still needs these two reds near the pink if he's going to win the frame at this visit so it's not going to be easy but he's played an excellent positional shot there top draw now if he can leave himself a nice angle that's why he's coming round the table just looking at the angle he'd like to leave on the black to just bring those two reds into play Six. And that looks about perfect. And if this goes right, could be the frame winner. Ooh, a little unlucky. I don't think the red passes the blue. Well, I'm certain it doesn't pass the blue. And this red into the left corner is a little bit tricky. And he still needs both the reds. Could have worked out better that. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but he's got an easy snooker as well, isn't he? If he just stuns this red full in the face and leaves a white behind the pink. You but he'll go for the it. pot. You can say it, Stephen. You're in the commentary <laughs> box now. You can think all these negative thoughts. But yeah, the snooker looks to be the shot. The reds risk it, and I think he's taking your advice here. Don't blame him for that. Sean Murphy 30. See, you could have played that. <laughs> yeah, percentage wise, without doubt, the best shot. I think if we were a few frames into this final, he might have taken that red on, but the first frame is so important. And that's why he's. I've said I'm taking the percentage route. Yes, and of course, what made this a little bit different is that red by the blue at the moment. Well, it may be possible in one pocket. So he thought maybe a snooker, and uh, I don't know whether Neil Robertson will want to play on that red near the blue. Well, it looks like he is going to do. Always very difficult to judge getting out of a snooker when the, the cushion comes almost immediately. Judging the angle, and he's got to play this dead weight, otherwise, he could leave this red. Well, if he comes across this side, the right hand side of the table, he's only half the red to hit of course if he hit it uh, as he would like he may get it safe yeah coming this way obviously if he's going to hit the red it's, he's going to hit the left hand side of the red which he needs to do but he's missed it and that will be replaced wow. Sean Murphy four. that makes because now Sean Murphy is just looking for a one red and a colour to get to the snooker's required stage. Well he's had a practice goal, he's got to hit it right this time you feel. Well 
Well, he hits it. Oh, and the knuckle on the jaw has made it into a good shot now. We'll settle for it being reasonably safe. You'll settle for that. Will showing the fancy this long straight red next to the blue. <coughs> nope, doesn't look like it. Still going down the, the cautious route. Well, he needs the brown to come to his rescue here, and I'm not certain it has. No, he can pot this. And you'd make certain of the pot here. You wouldn't be going out of your way for position. And the reason I say that is if you don't get on the colour, you've got a nice snooker to lay. The fact that the red was just moved away from the blue means it's now available to the far left corner. So if he's got the nice angle on the green, worth playing. If not, just took it behind the green. I admit I wouldn't be refusing this pot. He's made some great clearances this week. But he is refusing it. So both players are not yeah, taking any risks in this first frame. Yeah, and I think once again, Stephen, as you said, the time before when Sean Murphy refused the pot, I think if it wasn't the first frame, he'd have definitely gone for that. Also shows you the respect they have for each other in each other's games. Well, I'm just wondering, well, it looks as though he's close enough to the green to have cut out the one cushion escape. Well, I thought he had, but maybe he hasn't. No, he hadn't, but... Can he get it safe? That's always the problem. It's not hitting the snooker. Can you leave it safe? I think this red will pop past the black. There you go. I'm not saying it's easy, but there is an element of safety in playing the pot. And it goes. Now, is he on the colour? Does it run past the yellow? It does. New favourite for the frame. But he needs the colour and the six remaining colours to win it. if the pink was on its spot you'd think formality but the fact that it isn't okay we could say Seven. being left handed it's on the the right side of the table so to speak for, for Neil but it's not that easy it's a good angle on the blue and a good positional shot from that blue Ten. come off the, the top cushion, side cushion somewhere in behind the pink you can choose to play the pink in the centre or the right corner but there's a big margin for error 19 he's gone a bit close to the pink he won't be happy with that yeah, for those of you who were watching last night we saw a similar shot from John Higgins didn't he, when he was trying to clear up to make it 5 all and he got into a little bit too much. I mean, the one thing you don't want to do there is get into it too much. And as I say, John Higgins did exactly the same last night when he looked for all money, he was going to make it five each. The cue ball's a bit close to the pink to consider playing a double, I think. So, 
Trying to get this white tight in behind the black. No, no I couldn't even nice. do that. And okay, he's got the pink safe, but he's not put Sean Murphy under any pressure. Mm -hmm. Sean Murphy still leads by nine points, so just looking for the pink. Bounced off the bolt cushion. What makes the safety or any safety the more difficult is when you leave a lot of distance between cue ball and object ball. Sean couldn't manage to do that. Ooh, well, I thought for a moment he wasn't going to get to that side cushion, but just about got it safe. Yeah, I thought he could have played cushion first there, right like in behind the pink. And would have been able to get a lot of distance between two balls, but played the, the safer option where he knew he was going to get the pink safe. Oh, this is a mistake from Sean. This is a mistake from Sean. He's trying to force it around the angles, and in all honesty, should have made a better job of it than that. Neil Robertson, though, still needs pink and black. Another chance, you don't think, Sean? In goes the black. The it was one. a frame that was strewn yeah, with that's... errors, but as Stephen remarked, it was the one who made the last one, and that was Sean Murphy. And Neil Robertson takes the first frame. And stealing frames is what Neil Robertson's been extremely good at all week. That's part of the reason why he's in this final. Now we're splitting.